Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be another music and lyric inspired reading and the song that you guys voted on is Make It Last Forever by Keith Sweat featuring Jackie McGee. Scorpio is who this is going to be for. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Okay. So the lyrics are on the screen. I tried to get all of the, the parts that were relevant. The actual, you know, tried to get rid of the ad libbing, but you get it. This song really breaks down um, boy meets girl or person meets person. They've spent some time together. That time was lovely. And now he wants to make it last. It's giving communication, guys. It's giving, I want you to tell me how much you love me. I have had a fabulous time with you, you know, or the time that we have had, whether it's new or old. And I want this to last. I want it to last. I want you to tell me that you'll never leave me because that's why I'm on. I'm on that with you. Like I'm, I'm here, you know? So Scorpio, we're going to read this from the other perspective and find out. Y'all, we're going to be making the last. This is for Scorpio. Okay. All right. What do we got? Oh, no. Scorp. Leading with the Six of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Page of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords upright. I can't. I, I just. Ugh. All right. So, obviously, this is someone from your past. Scorps. And this individual is in a mindset where they're trying to come to grips with what went on. They're not being honest with you about how they feel. Um, it could be that they don't want to face you. They were spying at some point or and or didn't believe what you said and or. just didn't trust you and or the communication was always off but now that's in reverse they're coming out of that okay um but they do have you under a wrong impression for so i know you are extremely intuitive and you probably picked up on the fact that this person is full of shit they are but we're going to, you know, this is where we, this, this is what it is. So this is a person from your past that you are possibly not in, com, com, not in communication with. And they have you under an impression that is incorrect. Um, and I believe that the impression that they have you under has to do with reconciliation. Yep. Past is four of wands. Present is the nine of swords. The person is up at night losing sleep and is in a lot of anxiety over this. Really what they wanted with you didn't work out in the past the way they wanted it to. It could be a timing issue. It could be a divine timing issue. Let me say that because I have to preference that because things don't happen on our schedule. Things happen when it's supposed to happen, right? Some people cannot take rejection some people when they are trying to push their narrative when that narrative does not happen there is no mechanism scorpio in place hint hint where there is a self uh evaluate evaluation in a hey like a person that has a logical mind can be like okay after you get over the initial shock you can be like you know what that wasn't for me and Everybody doesn't have that, that self-awareness where you're like, okay, well, you know, this just must have meant that this wasn't my time. So, you know, something better is for me. And I know it takes a while to get there. You don't do it immediately because you're upset. You, you're feeling some kind of way about the rejection. That's how this person was. There is a marriage issue and a timing issue here. They wanted to marry you, Scorp. Somebody from your past. Um, they saw themselves with you for the rest of their life. And when you did not make that work, they were not having it with you. 
Okay. Let's get into the clarifiers. Why are these cards here? Very cut and dry. And that's what they're lying about. How much they want you. All right. These have all fell out. I'm just going to take them rather than putting them back. We got the Empress in reverse. The Eight of Cups in reverse. Why are these in reverse? Uh-uh. That's too much. Scratch those. I'm going to do a couple more shuffles. I don't like that. If it flies out in reverse, I'll take it. But you're not just going to fall out of my deck in reverse. <laughs> uh-uh. All right. Come on, spirit. Thank you. Why are these cards here? They're still falling out. Nine of wands, page of wands. Give me one more. Why is this here? Death tried to come out. Thank you. Okay. Nine of wands, page of cups. If I said nine of wands, I'm sorry. I mean, or if I said page of wands. It is the nine of wands. It is the page of cups to temperance. So if they're feeling like the wounded warrior about and, and that and this this wounded warrior is clarifying the past, they are upset. They feel that there was something, a narrative in the past that they were trying to push, or they have this sense of entitlement. Like, I am, you know, the person that you love. We love each other. And, you know, we have this gorgeous past, past where we were in love and we got alone and da da da. And the question really comes down to why aren't we together? There is a narrative that this person wants. Scorpio, that just did not, it wasn't realized. It could have been, again, because of the timing, or it could have been because you shut, you shut it down. You shut it down. And they feel entitled to you. They feel like they deserve this. Who else had this? Yeah. You guys have been syncing up my elements. You guys have been really syncing as far as the type of themes in your reading. Anyway, so yeah. And they also made you an offer. So for some of you, they asked you to marry them. You said no. They're, they're, they're big mad about that. Or they expected marriage. I'm just telling you. They have been dealing with this. And they're no longer in an energy where they want to be mad at you away from you. They would rather be mad at you with you. <laughs> that, does that make sense? Let me put this mic somewhere else. That, that's where we are. And now they're willing to take it slow because they realize that they would rather take it slow with you than not take it at all without you. You know what I'm saying? So they would rather take it slow and be a part of your life than to be then to be apart from you and then there is no plan if that makes sense all right the past the nine of of pentacles present is ace of pentacles they want a new beginning they want to offer you something although they had you under the impression that they wasn't messing with you at all <laughs> you probably already knew scorpio you, you probably already knew because my Scorpio rising X just flow up and down. He was just like, you, you're full of it. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm really not, but he swore up and down. I was, I was like, okay. <laughs> so y'all be knowing, but this time he was wrong. And sometimes you guys will create things, you know, not blaming you for his crap, but I'm just saying like, this is a fixed sign thing, not just exclusive to Scorpio. And I have double fixed. So I know like sometimes you get so caught up in what a person isn't doing. It has to be the narrative that you're pushing. So like they could have been like, well, if you're not marrying me, then you must be messing with somebody else. And you're just looking at them like, well, no, I just don't. I'm not ready for marriage. Maybe you didn't say it, Scorpio, because sometimes y'all do shut down and feel maybe you didn't, for whatever your reasons, you didn't tell this person. But 
you can't do that with a fixed sign to a certain extent. And you are fixed water, so you know this. When you want something, especially love, when this is a relationship, for my fixed signs out there, and I'm just giving anybody that's cross-listening advice, please let these folks know what's up. Let us know. I have to include myself in that. Because if you leave a fixed sign up to their own devices and leave them with too much room, what you heard the, 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 the expression, the idle mind is the devil's playground. Honey, that Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius will come up with all types of shit about what's really going on because they're making these decisions out of under duress, under this, these, this bad communication and how shit was left. And it'd be wrong. It'd be, it couldn't be the furthest from the truth. So back to the point. So they want to offer you this and they were not, they, they lied. That's that seven of swords. They were telling you they didn't want this and this and that. And they, you know, whatever they were telling you was wrong. They had you under the impression and it was wrong because what's clarifying the seven of swords is the temperance. So all this time they've been waiting on your ass, but they haven't let you know. And they don't care. They, they, they didn't care then. That's dangerous because you could be in a whole new relationship with someone. But they waited on you, Scorp. They waited on you. Okay. They still want you. They never stopped. They never stopped. And I think you know. I think you know. Give me something for this. One more. One more, spirit. Let's get with these oracles before I close you out, Scorp. Thank you. And they all came out face down, too. Emotional intimacy. See, here we go. I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something that I'm still working on. I told you. That's the reason why the Seven of Swords is here, because they don't feel comfortable. That's not your problem. But they're coming out of this. And they're coming in to make you an offer now, but this is why they, this, okay, run away. See, would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? Somebody else had this. Oh, I should have started tracking them because you crossing with somebody and I wish I knew who, because I just read this about seven readings ago. Would you pack a, a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Yes, that's what they want. And then we have father wounds. Aha. So this person has a father wound. My father is a big influence on my behavior. Now as an adult, as an adult I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within me and externally. So for some of you guys, this is probably going to resonate with you if you are in a relationship with a woman. doesn't have to be. All right, let's look at the tops um, of the top energy for these decks so I can close you out. In the clarifying energy, it is the three of cups and the two of cups. Yep. They want to get back to having fun with you. They want to get back to working on the bond. They miss you like that. They're ready to, to get this back on track. All right. They've had time to process their crap. They're ready to come in with communication and a real solid offer. And then the main energy we're looking at. Yep. Oh my God, that's so cute. Look at this. Two of cups and a ten of cups. Oh, this is a rarity, Scorpio. We got the two of cups and the two of cups in my recent energy staring back at me. Look at that. Like it was underneath the ten of cups in the main energy. And then in my clarifying energy, it's also, oh, that's so sweet. Oh. But you also know what this means when I get cards that clarify one another that come out. That means that you want this shit too. That's what this means, Scorp. So stop playing while you're on the, on, on, on the other line, on the other side of my screen. Talking about some, uh-huh, that's what they get. You miss they ass too. You know you do. You miss them too. Y'all had a bond. That's for damn sure. And both of you guys are acknowledging the bond. This is the thing. Both of you guys are acknowledging this bond and you're acknowledging because, you know, you can't be double. I mean, you could double down, but my God, how many times is the same card going to come out? So that means that this, this, this connection meant a lot to the both of you. It was a very deep and profound connection. So I'm going to say whoever needs to say whatever, just do 
what you need to do because both of you guys miss each other. And I'm channeling missing you like crazy. Okay, channeling the song and the song. I had the same thing. Leo. Was it Leo or was it Cancer? I don't remember. I'm channeling Missing You by Mary J. Blige. Oh, we. And I'm going to read you some of these lyrics. I'm not in love. It's just some kind of thing that I'm going through. And it's not infatuation. Ain't nothing going on between me and you. But I dream about it every night. One of you here with me making love to me. And oh, I'm missing you like crazy. Body and soul is aching. I'm out of control. Missing you so. Aww. You guys go listen to this song. I, li I like this song. I'm not in love. It's just some kind of thing I'm going through. Ooh. So, yes, this person does want to make it last, but I feel like they're more in an energy of Missing You Like Crazy by Mary J. Blige. That's what I'm going to name this. They are out of control. Missing You So. Mm. What remains in the main energy for us is nothing. No major arcana. Uh, and what remains in the clarifying energy for us is temperance. I'm willing to take it slow. I'm, I got to take it slow. That's what they're saying. Run away. I want to be alone. Ooh, they want to be alone with you too. For real, Scorpio. And I'm sure mm, you know what you rule by. The genitals. So I know what y'all want to do. Mm -hmm. So cute. Missing you like crazy is what we're going to say. I like this. I may add that. I would love to read, uh, read in that energy. Ooh, I love that song. You guys need to go and listen to it. Because that's what I channeled for you. A song within a song. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Always a pleasure, Scorpio. Nasties. And <laughs> when this person get their hands on you. And I'm going to keep recycling the songs. We're going to do 90s r and I'm going to put that same thing up for this week's read, next week's read. Because I really want to put this song in and see how many people vote for it. I love this song. Anyway. Like share, ugh, like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I'm getting tongue-tied in your reading. It's so cute. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. I'll see you next week when we do it again, Scorpio. And good luck on this. Bye, guys. Bye.